we are the only ones at the present time that has a fully automated, no labor involved in handling of the chicks on the machine. Feather sexing is really hot at the moment, especially after the introduction of automated feather sexing machines. We are here at the IPPE uh, to learn more. In the hot seat next to me is Ramin Karimpour, uh, CEO of Tara. Thank you for inviting us to the booth. Thank you, Fabian. Good to meet you. In your view, uh, what are the emerging trends and challenges shaping the today's poultry industry? Well, uh, with the capability of doing high-speed imaging and artificial intelligence coming to life with uh, machines such as Wingiscan, uh, that can do anywhere between 40,000 to 160,000 checks per hour. This capability now does exist for almost every poultry producer to take advantage of being able to sex the chicks and grow the chicks separately and then have the advantages both in the hatchery with limited labor, with, in the farm with a higher, F, better FCR, and in the, in the processing plant with a higher yield. So a lot of people are taking advantage of this and looking at this as a path forward for profitability and sustainability. And what role does Targon play in the introduction of, of in this case, Wingscan? Well, we are the first with uh, a machine that we launched in 2023. We have been out there over a year and a half at the present time. Over 750 million chicks already gone through our machine. We have over 99.1% uptime over the past two years. And we are doing over 98% accurate delivery. So that, and we are the only ones at the present time that has a fully automated, no labor involved in handling of the chicks on the machine. Uh, you're uh, on the market now for just over a year. Uh, why do you think so many producers are shifting to automated federal section? I think everybody have known about it uh, about the benefits of feather sexing for, for decades. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge has been they couldn't find the labor to do it at the time. So now that, and we actually have many customers who used to do feather sexing, and then they stopped 10 years ago, even two years ago, mm -hmm. because they couldn't find the labor. And with the machine, the question of labor goes out. More important, the yields are higher, the, accuracies are higher and the time to farm from the time of the hatch to the farm is shortened by having automatic machines. So for the chicks this has had a great impact of being able to get to the feet faster thus bringing down seven day mortalities. Um, of course consistency is really important. Um, how does Targon ensure that you meet the consumer's expectations? Well, at the present time, with over 20 systems that we have, we have shown that we meet our consistency both in accuracy and in processing of the chips. And that would be a goal. We, we are a technology-driven company with a commitment to meeting our objections all the way through with regard to customers being fully satisfied we provide all the service to all of our equipment on a daily basis. The, the uptime of 99.1% is a result of us having a robust machine and a great service tech field uh, team. So uh, we meet, we try our best to strive and meet the customer expectation. And looking towards the future, what's next for Tiger? Well, our, you probably know our vaccine delivery machine is on its way. We are going to individually vaccinate at the same rate, anywhere between 40,000 to 160,000 chicks per hour on individual basis, mm -hmm. targeting their eye with delivering a small amount of vaccine, helping the producers assuring over 97% vaccination. And how does it fit into the long-term strategy of your company? It is a, is a modular system. We intend to automate as much as possible everything that is possible in the hatchery. 
we will have we have other ideas for how to bring high tech technologies into the hatchery and we are also looking at other species like swine and aqua we have patented technologies that will apply to them between now and 2029 if there's one takeaway for our audience from this interview what would that be uh, the machine that has the longest uh, capabilities shown in the field should be something for them to consider. The fact that uh, our systems have performed very well over the last 18 months, all the way across both in the US and in Canada, should be a good sign for selection of partners, especially in Europe. We are eyeing Europe greatly, and I hope that as we expand in Europe, we can serve the European market the same way we have done in the US and Canada. Well, thank you so much for explaining, uh, Thank you so much. Thank you.